hi everyone you're welcome to today's tutorial i'm going to be taking you through um the different ways you can create a structural frame so you can possibly pick anyone you you prefer okay so it will bring a startup menu for me like this now if the frame i want to create is uniform throughout for example i have a drawing here um you have a panel a panel a panel so this panel is 2655 mm this is 2525 and this is 3700 um so let's assume you have equal size for example this is 25 this is um 25 this is also 25 and from here to here is um 3725 also here is 3725 if you have this kind of um symmetrical arrangement you don't need to start creating a frame one by one using the node so what you can just do is um let's go to star pro um you can close this so just come to geometry come to run structure wizard there are some um layouts you have there you know so you can just go there you know some prototype models so if you want to work with truss you go to truss but right now i want to work with frame so go to frame models so there are some models there already for you so you can just pick this if you want to work with a, um, a frame if it is a beam you can pick this if it is a grid frame so click on the bay frame let me say the length is um 7500 and then i want to split this 7500 in three places you know to have three panels this is the whole length then this is how many base i want to split it along that length so the height let me say i have three floors and each floor has three meter so that will be nine meter altogether okay so that's um i'm um, sorry this is a meter i don't need to be putting seven thousand five hundred that'll be seven point um seven point five okay so how many um floors that should be three you know i'll be splitting into three let me see my width let's say my width is um 7502 that's 7.5 and i want to split it into two so you see that then you say apply you can see the frame is here right now so then you click on this transfer model this transfer model yes okay it is asking where it wants to place it so if you wanted to place it exactly at the origin you know x equals to zero y equals to zero z is equal to zero good but if you wanted to place it somewhere else you can just uh, you know insert where you want to place it just click the dimension but i want it to place at the origin so i'm using this so okay so you have this okay so this is your frame so automatically you've created um your frame so this is the easiest way if you have equal um b you know if you have equal b but in this kind of case so you can just start working with this you can start putting your um your your support define the property and everything so that is one way to do that so another way to create a frame is by using um, a grid line so you can decide to use your grid line any way you want it so um, this is um, the snap mode um, of the grid line that um, start pro we generally pop up so right now I want to create my own so you come here you say create then um you give it a name let me call it um frame one then you can change it to irregular shape so it's asking me the plane i want to work with so if you want to work with x and y plane you can use this if you want to work with x and z plane you can use this if you want to work with y and z plane you can use this okay so okay sorry i should have given it a name before i so let me give it a name back frame one okay so i'm i'm coming let me let's see this okay so you know this is the drawing we want to manipulate back there and then you know the distance here is 2655 2525 3700 okay so if you look at this you know this is x this is x plane going like this that's x plane and going like this that is z plane you know that is z 
plane it is not y plane because uh, my geometry for star pro i say y is up so anything vertical is up and you know this is a plan this is a plan of a building so um this is the z axis and this is the x axis so that means i want to work with x and z axis so you can go here and be very sure so that should be x and z axis not x and y so pick x and z so it is asking me the distance i have along the x so what is my distance along the x i have two six five five so you come here two six five five but everything is in meter so that should be two point six five five so see space what's the next one the next one is two five two five that's two point five two five so you see two point five two five space again you come you check the next one as 3.7 so i have um 3.7 then what about along the z i only have um two the first one is you know since i'm starting from here you know, this is my origin so you'll pick this one first so that is 3725 3.725 3.725 space then the last one that's 3.55 that's 3.55 so you see okay so you can now pick the frame you can click you know i have two frames i know i created a frame don't forget so the default is still there but if you want to see this one just click on it then you have the the plan so you can see this is the um the plan now so this is the plan view of the of the object so what you can do you can just try to give it beams you know the beams so you can see snap node and beam so you can okay okay so i have a beam from here up to here up to here up to here and then here yeah. Um, you can escape then you pick it again I have a beam from here to here I have a beam from here to here so these are all my all my beams so you can just click on snap mode and say so you have um your plans so this is the plan view of everything we have here you can see this that you have here this you can see we now have it back here we now have it back here so but the problem now is you need a frame you know we, we need three floors so how are you going to generate this to have um, a floor so i want to generate this to have you know to go up i want to transfer it up by three three meters to have three floors so this is what i'm going to do you highlight all of them choose um beam cursor then you highlight all of them so you come to trans um translational repeat you know to repeat everything translationally so you click on translational repeat so how do i want to rep um where do i want to repeat it you know I want to repeat it in the y direction you know i want it to go up i want to have several floors so i want to repeat it in the y direction not in the x direction anymore you know in the y direction i want it to go up so you pick y and the number of steps it means how many times do i want to have um do i want to have them so i want to have it in three places you know that's three floors so in three places and what is the spacing that you know that's the height so i want it to be in three meters you know one floor is three meter that's my assumption so here is still five meter you can see well you still have your five meter but you can just click outside like this you see everything has changed to three meter so i want to link all the steps so click on okay and you can see you have all of them but this other floor downward you know this one you can just delete it just click on delete say yes so you can see you don't have them now so now you have a frame so this is the second way you can do this okay so another method you can go about this is you can just close this up then you start picking your node one by one this is long but at least 
you should know it so you can see you have zero on the x zero on the y and zero on the z you know this is um that's this point this point here that's zero on the x zero on the y zero on the z so i'm going back now so this should be zero on the x it should be you know 3.555 so that will be minus 3.555 because i'm going back so that should be minus 3.555 on the z and zero on the on the y so let me say um on the z i have minus 3.555 and zero every other way every other place so which other one this this point so that should be 3550 plus 3725 so we can just calculate that with um let's let's use um um stop uh, stop rule let's calculate though i have 3750 plus what was it 3550 3550 okay integer so the answer is 7.3 okay 7.3 can close it so that is um minus 7.3 on the z still is zero on the x still zero on the y then the z is minus 3.555 and then this is 8.88 um this is minus 7.3 so we have so now we have the um the 12 notes we have the 12 notes that is all these column points now we have them now so you can just draw all this beam you know you have beam connecting all the columns so you can just draw the beam you know you come here click here click on pick beam so you can draw your beam you can hold and drop or you just um hold and drag so you have all your beams so the the next thing you can do is just the same step we did the other time that is the translational repeat so just pick the beam cursor this is your um beam cursor you can see this is node cursor if you pick the node cursor, let's say let's pick the node cursor and see what will happen. Node cursor, then try to highlight everything. It's just the nodes that we, you see, you can see it's just the node that you'll be able to to highlight. It will not pick the beam. So let's pick the beam. You can see this is beam cursor. So let's pick the beam cursor and then you know just drag everything up. So you can see now we've picked the beam. So that is the difference between all these um all these cursors. Okay. So one thing you should always do is when you have um, beams like this, when you create the beams, you need to be very sure that they break at the column points. You know, these node points, they are telling you that you have column at those points. So make sure you break all of them at the column points. So um, come and pick this one. You know, this is, I'm sorry. Okay, you see this cursor. So this is geometry cursor. So pick the geometry cursor. Highlight everything. Okay, so you can now go under geometry. Then say break beams at selected nodes, so you can break all of them at the nodes. So you see that okay, right now you have each beam. Uh, you can see everything is now breaking at the. So what you can now do is we are going to repeat the same thing. You highlight all of them. Use your um, beam cursor. Highlight all of them. And after doing that. I want to save then you are going to do the same thing you know translational repeats there's circular repeats too that's when you want to you know you want to repeat them in circular way but now we want to repeat in a translational way you know translational that's straight so we are going to repeat in the y direction just as we did the other time so three i need three steps and then three meter spacing so i want to link all the steps together so let's say okay okay then you have all of them like this 
so you can delete the bottom one if you want and if you don't want you can leave it like that so that's how to go about it so thanks for watching i hope you understand this and if you really like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to this youtube channel thank you